for stopping by. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a while since I've got a Super Checks machine myself and don't really see much online. So I'm going to walk you through what I do to clean and kind of keep my ice nice and smooth as well as the dome. So first I'm going to pull this machine out and you're going to go around and remove these 10 screws that are on the outside of the machine. And to do this you're going to need a hex wrench or an allen key. And so I'm going to put a link down below to an Amazon page where you can grab one of these. If you don't have one, I'm using a 3 16th, as you can see here. So just like anything, you know, lefty-loosey, you're going to go around, get all of those nice and loose. I get them loose till I can unscrew them with my finger. Then I just pull them out. That way I make sure I keep that little washer. You definitely want to make sure that stays on. It'll keep you from scratching your dome there. And here's a nice little time lapse get all those screws out real quick. I always put a nice microfiber towel at the top so that I just keep it from scratching the wall and scratching the dome at the same time. So just gonna open that up, make sure it stays open so it doesn't fall either way. Grab some pledge, this is a lemon scented pledge and a brand new microfiber towel. First I'm gonna go through with the microfiber towel dry. Just gonna kinda make sure I get any dust or dirt that might be on the ice surface itself, sometimes like the puck and other parts will just kind of spray like this black sooty looking dust on the board. So I'm just going to wipe that off, get both sides, get behind the goal. Then I'm going to come back around, flip that towel around to a clean side. And I'm going to get a little bit of a spray, maybe like a penny size. And you can see it's about as much as I'm using there. And I'm going to start on one side, just kind of work my way around. There's not really any science to this really, and I, I don't think you can use too much or too little necessarily. You just kind of want to do like an even amount around each. I'll add about a penny size. I'll go around, here's a little zoomed in piece. You can see a little bit better. Each time I spray, it's about the same size of a spray. And I'm just going to go around each of the players. You can also kind of move the players either by hand or using the stick and just kind of make sure you get every little piece where the puck is gonna go because that'll keep the puck sliding nice. And then I also like to just go over uh, right on like the tracks where the players are. You don't wanna use a ton. You don't want pledge falling down inside of there and messing anything up. But if you go around the tracks, it'll keep the players sliding nice as well. Never wanna use any type of oil or lubricants on these players. Um, you know, they really don't need anything like that. As long as you keep the machine clean and you take good care of it and you're not too abusive towards it, it's going to last you quite a while. And make sure you get down inside of the goals itself because you'll see here, I kind of mold it around my fingers, get a little bit on the towel, move the goalie out of the way, and then I'll get down inside of the goal itself. This will keep the puck from hopefully sliding down into the hole easier even with doing this, sometimes it still does get stuck, but I find that it helps uh, just keep the puck kind of smooth and flying around. See, I'm kind of moving back and forth with the goalie, getting the tracks a little bit as well. And then mine wasn't very dirty at all on the inside. It usually stays pretty dust free. So I'm just going around it with a new microfiber towel. Again, a clean one, no uh, solution or anything on that towel. And so I gave it a nice wipe down just to get any dust that might be on the inside or little pieces of dirt marks. And I'm going to close that down nice and gentle there. And then I'm going to use that same clean microfiber towel and I'm just going to go around the outside of the dome to get any dust off. Mine did have a little bit of a dust buildup. My house doesn't get very dusty, but um, this will attract any dust in the air. So I like to give it a nice quick dry wipe down, make sure I get as much of the dust off as possible. Make sure I go around the outsides of it as well. Then I'm going to grab this Nova Novus cleaner, and I'll also have a link on Amazon to that and a link to these microfiber towels. Just going to do a couple sprays. I do about four to five sprays on each side. And I tried to grab a bit of a turnaround viewpoint here so you can see how much I'm using. And then I'm just going to kind of go around almost in a buffing type of maneuver here where if you ever buffed a car or headlights on a car, it's almost the same material and same solution. So I'm just kind of going around, getting that kind of swirled around. Then I'm going to flip the towel over to a nice dry side, make sure there's no dirt or dust that's going to scratch. Then I'm actually going to go in with a bit of a harder buff here to try to get some more shine and just make sure that any like extremely small scratches are out. It also comes with a scratch remover, an extra solution you can use. If you get deep scratches, I haven't had any yet. I'm very careful with my machine. I don't have a ton of people that come by and abuse it. Most of the people playing it 
know how to use a bubble hockey machine. So just trying to keep it shiny, clean, get any dust. And uh, this also helps reduce the static as well. You will feel some static, but it is what it is. There's a nice viewpoint, nice and shiny. And then the one of the final steps here I like to do is just take some alcohol. This is 70%. I was using a, a reused one here, so that's why I marked it off. Just a little bit there on a towel. And I'm going to go around and actually get the buttons and each of the um, sticks themselves just to kind of keep those nice and clean, germ-free, uh, dirt-free. Mine aren't very dirty. So I'm just going to go around each one of those. Then I'm going to get a brand new. Uh, I'm just You can use a microfiber towel. I'm just using a paper towel here, normal bounty paper towel. I'm going around kind of getting the speaker and getting the bottom piece here. I'm sure a lot of people probably forget about the bottom. I sometimes do as well, and you'll see it did have some dust build up there. So I got all that dust off, looking nice and shiny again. And final step after I get everything pushed back in is just to give it a nice uh, vacuum here, get all that dust and dirt that might have fallen off. And that's a wrap for the most part. Get it nice and cleaned up, test it out. And one more thing you're going to want to do here, I almost forgot to throw this in here. You just want to go ahead and put those screws back in. I don't tighten them down too much. You could go finger tight. You don't even have to put all of them back in. I know some people that only put one or two back into there just to keep it a little stable. I like to put all of mine back and keep them about finger tight. And then the best part of all is actually getting to play. So let's give it a little play here. Thanks, guys.